Wow, it finally came. We're gonna go ahead and unbox the XFX, one of the Radeon lineup series that they actually introduced inside of there. And we'll be testing it in a later on video to test it against my founder's card to see what the actual difference is, if there's any at that point in time of what they actually offer. Because online, they just give you kind of like what seems like almost like a founder's card. My name is Mac, you're at the MacGyver 7 channel. We're gonna go ahead and unbox this and let's go ahead and get right to it. For the information that I did get out there, you can see right here, for as far as the founder card, you can get the basic portions of what they have. The clock speed was the one thing that I did kind of notice right off the bat. I believe mine can go up to about the 1850, if not closer to the 19, where it's like stock. It is normally kind of sits between there, so that maybe might be a more steadier lock. But we will find out in time in future video installments. As you can see the picture up above, this is my current rig Apollo, and it's hosting my Radeon 7 by itself. We'll be doing a crossfire setup. They don't talk about it, but you can run it. It's not super popular because not a lot of games enforce it. But if you are editing, it does come in handy in the situation of, of having a nice bandwidth and two terabytes at that point in time. But heat comes into distribution inside the situation because these things do get hot towards the very back of the die. As you can see, the very front in the very video up there, the die right back here underneath this plastic that we're going to remove right now. You can closely see right there as I bring it up closer. Now, it's a very beautiful card. I don't notice a lot of differences. I mean, even the grading's the same. It definitely seems like it's got a lot more weight, though. I've handled my other one time and time again, so that's definitely making me think that probably one of the bigger things here is maybe that they might have modified a little bit of the heat sink, and maybe they may have put, like, a, a flat plate that's a little bit more thicker on the copper, or maybe some, like really cool. I, I just need to do a lot more digging inside of here, but for right now, I wanted to unbox this and show everyone the newer Radeon card and what you will get for as far as unboxing the XFX. Now, you can see right over here, inside of this vanilla folder that you're going to get inside of the other box that's behind here, that there's going to be two cables. And you can run it traditionally. Personally, I would say just, you know, run one or two cables. But if you really are just like having one GPU and you really wanted to give it an extra kick, you definitely can run two of the other sinks directly inside of there. So you can take two leads and it can suck up a lot more energy directly inside of there. But again, I mean, that's putting more strain on your card. Personally, myself, I just go with one lead and they usually have a daisy chain that's directly on there that's pretty accessible. So, if you are new to the network, you can always like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for this unboxing. This is an amazing card that I think that a lot of people that are creators or streamers, it is an underdog. If you can find it for under 700 bucks uh, new, I would definitely say snag it. If it's anything above that, just wait for Big Navi. It's going to be right around the corner. But for my community, stay tuned for a lot of cool unboxing, kind of like, I guess, uh, rickles through time that we're going to be getting to because there might be a little crossfire situation. I don't know. Who knows where we're going to go from this. You'll just have to subscribe to find out if you are new. But I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. And uh, later, everyone.